Hi, this is Phil from Simply Rhino, and in this short video I'd like to look at the content and structure of our Rhino for Architecture and Engineering class. This course is aimed towards architectural and engineering professionals who are looking to use Rhino with more efficiency, accuracy and confidence. The course content is unique to Simply Rhino and introduces and explains industry standard workflows that are informed by our ongoing consultancy and support with some of the UK's foremost architectural practices. This comprehensive three-day class starts with a brief introduction as to how, when and why Rhino is used in professional architectural studios. We then move on to the Rhino Refresher, where the basic constraint systems in Rhino are covered, including modelling constraints, advanced object snaps, construction planes, etc. These basics are very often forgotten or overlooked, particularly if one is self-taught. The course then moves on to cover NURBS topology in detail. The aim of this is to deliver a core understanding of the principles of NURBS, so that both the advantages and the limitations of the topology can be utilised in building clean, efficient and editable geometry. New in-progress developments are also covered at this stage such as sub-D modelling, which is currently a long-term development for Rhino 7. Having covered NURBS topology, we then move on to some specific exercises that look at modelling controlled sculptural forms in an accurate yet efficient manner. In this pod pavilion exercise, we also look at various methods to create and manage the transitional surfaces between for example, the pod body and stem. The stadium exercise looks at using Rhino history to create a complete canopy that can be controlled and adjusted merely by editing a couple of curves. Following the creation of the canopy, we then look at the Panelling Tools plugin to quickly populate the canopy with three-dimensional panels. The Orient and Array tools are examined in detail. From simple fundamentals, such as reliably aligning a cross-section perpendicular to a curve, for example that we might need for sweeping, to more advanced surface alignments that can be controlled and updated with via history. We concentrate on developing reliable and repeatable methodologies. Regardless of context, there are always a number of modelling problems that are common with most Rhino users. These include naked edges, bad objects, filleting issues, trimming and joining, and tolerance issues. We look at these in class and introduce workflows to avoid these issues in the first instance, as well as a number of repair strategies. Working with legacy 2D data is commonplace in architecture. The process of importing and cleaning up such legacy data is covered along with a number of methods of moving between site and local origin. Solids are becoming increasingly important in the field of architecture and we look in detail at Rhino's solid creation and solid editing tools. This is done via the context of a massing study and we also examine creating and checking an STL file from within Rhino and best practice and tips for successful 3D printing. The Section Tools plugin for Rhino is also introduced. This creates live sections that update as the controlling geometry is edited and also provides a powerful way of documenting 2D cut sections. Throughout the course we discuss Rhino's interoperability with other CAD software such as MicroStation, AutoCAD, Revit and ArchiCAD. Working with large data sets is fundamental to architectural workflows. We look in detail at file management essentials such as layer states, naming conventions, named views, named positions and snapshots. Referencing files into and from Rhino using block instances and work sessions is covered in detail. Creating and managing 2D layout drawings is a popular topic in this class particularly given that Rhino now has a complete set of tools for 2D drawing and management. Key areas such as controlling line weights, annotation scaling, hatching and the completely revised Make2D command are covered. 
Rhino version 6 introduces a wealth of new display pipeline features and presenting from Rhino is covered in detail. From the improved pen display through to rendering and the new ray trace viewport there is a thorough look at the presentation possibilities in Rhino. The course rounds off with a 30 minute introduction to Grasshopper from one of our Grasshopper specialists at Simply Rhino. Please do get in touch if you have any questions regarding this course or any other of our scheduled classes. And remember that we can deliver standard classes or bespoke tailored content either in our own Rhino classroom or on site. Thanks for watching.